Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Major Canadian here, and welcome to a solo episode of Hunger Games. It's Friday, and I hope you all have some great plans for the weekend in store. Uh, I know I've got some awesome videos on the way, and I'm looking forward to it. But here we are in Sunset Valley, over on the Nexus. This is the classic Ring Road of Doom. So let's see if we can get ourselves some nice starting gear, and unfortunately, no, we've got a cobweb and some fish. Some vile, disgusting creatures, but that's okay. Ooh, don't land in that. That's a oh, that's another lava trap. You don't want you don't want to go in those. Believe me, it's uh, not as as warm and toasty as you'd expect. It's well, it's hot and deadly. It's not a hot tub. It's a lava bath, one that you never really want to experience. <laughs> I've fell in those a couple of times. It's it's a bad time. Horrible, horrible things happen, and I have nightmares about it regularly. But anyways, here are the Hunger Games. I'm going to try and see if I can clean up nicely. My disguise just wore off, so everyone knows it's me in this Hunger Games from here on out. So let's see what we can do. 21 tributes remain. Three have already died. I've got next to no loot of value. Look at my, myself there. I got leather tunic and leather boots. Ah, there we are. Something worth putting on and we got that axe and I'm gonna eat this fish anyone nearby that wants to die not seeing them just yet and I think I still need pants so we'll take those and we will continue to scavenge for some loot amongst the edge of the map here I kinda like this fort it's been treating me well so far and hopefully we'll spot some players before they're all dead because there's only 14 left so many people are dying 10 have already dropped we're losing so many great tributes <laughs> people are saying hide take cover nobody go outside it's a war zone it's so deadly and scary whoa we got a robot i found a robot it's dancing <laughs> that's hilarious okay let's go inside and see if we can spot anyone and uh hopefully take them out let's throw this down is that gonna be level one it is that is perfect absolutely perfect lovely lovely any more loot? I'd like to get some slightly better armor. Some pants would be great. Lingerie pants or iron pants, something of that nature. Well, there's a lot... I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very... Click for Kyle's brick. I don't trust it. Okay. Wow. Surprisingly, nothing terrible happened. I thought I was going to die. I'm okay. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not touching this. this is, uh, ah! I don't know what that does. I don't want to press it. I'm not sure if it's just a telephone. Because it had like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on it. Oh, we got someone out here. Is it a stone sword? It is. Mystery eggs out of nowhere. I'm getting in on the action. That's one. Come on, come on. Where'd he go? Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Woo! One hard left. Close fight indeed but he's dead <laughs> i have two hearts i hope no one mutates on me let's see if we can reorganize our hot bar we got two arrows we've got pumpkin pie all right we're good we're good let's back it up no compasses unfortunately i would love to know where the closest player is because i don't want to get jumped on 10 tributes left and i've got two kills i got both of those nice let's eat this potato make sure our saturation our hunger bar is maxed out so we can keep regenerating our health we don't want to risk dying not in a time. Ooh, that, not not taking this fight either. Are they coming straight for me? That's a mistake on their end. They don't. They. Sh I mean, in theory, they should have no idea that my health is low. So the fact that he's coming at me is actually quite ballsy, because I've got better stuff. So let's see if he's gonna continue. Ow! What hit me? Anyone behind me? No. Okay. Let's see if they're gonna continue this. This is amazing, Beijing. You're my favorite. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, what's my typing key? Aw, oh, thanks. Just play the game normally. Heart. I'll send him some love. Gonna chop you up now, so good luck. <laughs> they can't say I didn't warn them. Ah, ah. Hello, hello. You can, you can get a head start. I'll let you run. There you go. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone this time, but you know I'm deadly. You now know I'm deadly and I'm not holding back, so. Okay, I love you. Me too. I love you too. Alright, let's continue on our hunt here. Do we have a. No, we still have no compass. Uh, we need better pants still. We got two. Get away from me, spectator. You're spooky ghosting. Stop it. Alright, we need to find ourselves some pants. Let's eat this baked potato, get our saturation back up to the maximum. 
Oh, someone's underground in the sewer. I kind of want to go take them out. Let's see if we can find a way in. There should be trap doors along the uh, ring road of doom. Let's see if we can find one of those entrance points. As well as some pants. I, I, would, I would like to improve my armor. I have five and a half, which isn't terrible. Honestly, it's pretty good. Especially with these two arrows. If I can get one arrow to connect, one good snipe as I start the hiccups. And with this stone sword, I should be able to finish a fight. I don't have any flint and steels or other items, but that's fine. Oh, nine tributes left. Somebody just fell in a pit of lava. That sucks. <laughs> Legendcraft slapped warrior's lover to death using a stone sword. So we probably have a strong challenger out here somewhere in the land of the Hunger Games in Sunset Valley. And I would love to find them and take them out of the game. Because they've got the stone sword and I imagine their armor is pretty good. Most people with stone swords have good gear. Very rarely do you spot someone who's a complete plebeian. Alright, let's use this axe and cook. Absolutely. And is there a chest here somewhere? There's got to be a chest around. A little chest, a little chest. There she is. Open up, you jerk. Flint and steel. Pants. Perfect. And we don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. Alright. Pants activated. We've improved our armor by half a slot. Not the best in the world, but it is still better than nothing. I will take it. I look definitely more intimidating than the leather. The leather makes you look like a complete plebeian. At least now I look like I know what I'm doing. So I, I'm okay with this. I've got 6 out of 10 armor. 7.5 I believe is the full iron combination with your helmet of choice. Whether lingerie, gold, or iron. All the same. But um, yeah, so I just really need pants and boots. Those are the only things I can improve. Why am I punching a horse? That's really mean. Um, I would love a compass because I want to track down some players now. I saw a name tag a moment ago, but I don't know where they went. They were near the house that I was in, and now they're gone forever. Why you gotta be so derude? I don't know where you went. Please come back. <laughs> I just want to put a sword inside of you. It's, it's made of stone, and it's, it's only gonna hurt a lot. Come on, it can't be that bad. All right, we're gonna keep keep our eye out. I've never thought I would meet someone from YouTube. Well, the pleasure is all mine. Nice to meet you. There we go. Nice to meet you too, Charlie. I like you, Charlie. Charlie! 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 Sorry, old, old YouTube viral video. Charlie the Unicorn. Um, anybody around here? If you know Charlie the Unicorn, definitely Charlie! Hashtag Charlie in the comments. Let's see it. Charlie! What? what? Charlie! Alright, I've, I've had my fun. Um, let's, let's see if we can spot somebody. This is ridiculous. I haven't seen a player in so long. We have eight tributes left, six people spectating and watching this game. Uh, once we eliminate four more, it will start a one minute deathmatch countdown. And then we go into a uh, gladiator arena of sorts. We go to spawn, we can't leave it, and it's all about killing everybody. Everybody in the game getting slayed now. Make sure no one's sneaking up behind me. Alright, so we are at spawn, no deadly traps at this point. Good, good. And the chests are going to restock in 1 minute 40 seconds. So let's give these a quick peek, see what we can find. Arrows, don't need to fish. Fish, fish, fish. Ooh, a supply drop chest. Yes, please. And yeah, we're going to go drop our surprise crate, our supply drop. Inbound, coming in hot. And we will snag it momentarily and hopefully get ourselves some iron pants or iron boots or both. That would be awesome. All right, it's dropping now. Tributes have been wished good luck, aka me. <laughs> I'm the only one around here. Or a compass. Give me a compass too. That'd be great. Quick 360, make sure I'm safe. Where's the chest? It's gonna be here in a sec, I think. Chest, why you do this? The supply drop has failed me. I don't know where it is, all right? I'm sorry. Thought I was gonna get some valuable resources, but instead I got nothing. Oh, there it is, finally. Takes a little while. All right, let's see what we got. Um, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Cool. I like getting nothing. It's probably my favorite thing to get. 30 seconds until the chest restock though, so that's okay. And then we will get ourselves some real loot. 
I'm going to deposit the things that I don't need. Gold I'll hold on to. The rest of this I will hold on to. 20 seconds until it restocks. I wonder if it restocks the supply drops. I'm curious. So I'm going to actually steal all this and put it in another chest just to uh, see. Very curious. Very curious indeed. The cake's more valuable than the cobweb for sure. My sister's watching me. Oh, is watching me right now. She loves his YouTuber. She's seven. Say hi to your sis for me. All right, let's see. Did it restock? It does restock your supply drops. That's awesome. All right, cool little find. Get some more food. Another arrow. Another supply drop. Gold is good. I need an apple. Ooh, diamond. Oh, I'll take the pants too. I think that improves me by another half. Stone sword, just so no one else gets it. More gold. We just need an apple. We have a golden apple on deck. Nothing there. I'll take the eggs again. Nothing there. Nope, that's it. That's all of them. So let's check the rest of these crates. See what's around this table. Does it have the chest on the inside? No. Does it have the... Oi! We're under attack. There we go. Half an armor better, like I said it would be. And so it. So it. So what you about? Oi! <laughs> Alright, well I'm going to murder this guy now. He's going to try and burn me, but there's tall grass, which is a very bad idea to try and roast. Not falling for it. It ain't gonna happen. No, don't use the cake, Mitch. Why? Why you gotta be so... So bad sometimes? Oh, this guy's so done. Yeah, let's go in for the finisher. With the cake. Nah, I'll use the sword to be safe. Yeah, I didn't want to risk dying there. It sounded funny to cake him to death, but nah. Not this time around. He had a diamond. Great. Great pickup. Let's get these coming in. And let's head over to a chest. Did he have a compass? He did. Closest player, 80 blocks away. Storing all this that I don't need. Did he have any apples? I want to go back and check his his dead body for apples. And those those arrows actually were huge for me in that fight. Without those arrows, I don't think I would have lost, but it would have certainly been a bigger challenge. So he had a flint and steel. No apples, I don't think. All right, let's store the rest of this. Check our compass again. Closest player, 150. We are very safe, which is nice to know. And we've got his flint and steels now. A bunch of them. Beautiful. And I'm still just missing an apple. I'm going to put my valuables up there that I'll use to craft things with later. And I don't need a carrot, to be quite frank. Diamond. Apple. That works too. And an iron. And that's good enough. Let's make a golden apple. Because those can be huge. Those can be game changing. If you're on the run and you have to eat an emergency food... Like, you know that they're going to slash you in the back. You've got three hearts. You're running. They're full. You know they're going to get that hit off. But you eat the gold apple, they get the hit off. You only lose the absorption and you regen two more. And on top of that, you've got your saturation up full and you're regening the rest of your health. So definitely huge to keep that in your hot bar. For now, though, there is only five tributes left. If I take down one more person, we're going to head to the death match. This player, Kid Man Bart, is 25 blocks away. He's right around the corner. I don't want to fall into a trap, so... I'm going to try and sneak out here and uh, eliminate. Oh, there's two of them. Team of two. Little do they know that I'm right here. Here goes one. Kidman Bart is the first victim to fall. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friendo. Friendo mundo. I know you didn't get a much of a chance to attack there, but you wouldn't have either way. Your back was turned. Is this guy going to come and try and save his friend? Legendary craft? Legendary. I'm not even going to heal. I'm not even going to use my saturation. I don't care to eat. I don't need it. Closest player... It is you in front of me, making sure there's no one on my back. 40 blocks, or 40 seconds, sorry. I think you just ran out of sprint, and yeah, you didn't have any food. <laughs> and they are both finished, and we're heading to the deathmatch with only three tributes in the deathmatch, including myself. So it's me, plus Mel Plays, and the Piddling Cone 20. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, you two. Alright, I have five kills this Hunger Games. Not a bad spree at all. Another apple, which I don't need. Storing all my junk. Should probably be checking my compass to see where the closest player is. Let's do that really quick. Give it a quick sweep. Quick check a 100 blocks away. Nowhere near me. I don't even care. Loading myself up with flint and steels. We've got plenty of everything we could need. Alright, let the games begin! So they're both right here in my face. Diamond sword on one. On fire. See, this is that time you need to eat the golden apple. 
And it looks like they might be teamed, which is really bad news for me. He's going to type something. Come on, give me a hit. This is not good. I'm not sure if I got him with that. I don't think so. Half a heart. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Unless that hits him. And I got him on fire. Yeah, they were teamed. Oh no, he wasn't teamed. Did the other guy burn to death? Wow. I thought, I thought, that's my mistake. I really thought there was two left. I messed up. Yeah, Mel died. I didn't see that. Dang it. I didn't realize it was a 1v1 there. I thought I was running away for, for my life because I thought there was another dude who was going to come out. I could have probably taken that 1v1. Dang, I didn't realize. Well, sometimes you have those days and you make mistakes. I totally missed that Mel burned to death. So that means the piddling dude was probably on like five hearts chasing me down. I mean, not to say it was a guaranteed win, but if I had turned and fought him there, it would have probably been better than just running because I ended up losing four hearts or so by running away from him. Well, that's a shame, but awesome Hunger Games nonetheless. Congrats on the win piddling. Uh, my, my mistake for not paying attention there. I really thought it was a two, two v one there. I thought you guys were teamed up. It just seemed like that after I lit you both on fire, you guys kind of ran away together in a group. It looked like you were huddling up. But that is going to do it for this episode of The Hunger Games. And I appreciate you watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Second place isn't bad. And I'm, I'm still pretty sure those two were teamed. Because they did definitely were not fighting each other. You saw them there at the center, both on fire. And uh, had I known I had the time, I, or well, 1v1, I would have certainly played that differently. But I thought I was dodging two people at the same time. But that is it. My excuses are over. I'm not a sore loser. It was a pleasure playing. Tons of fun. And I will see you all later. Click that like button. Let's go for 10,000 likes here today on The Hunger Games. And I will speak with you all soon enough. Very much appreciated this one. And have a great start to your weekend. I'll see you soon. Take care.